A gracious good day to one and all once again. Tis I, Norton the First, by grace of God, Emperor of the United States, and Protector of Mexico, uh, back with you for episode 64 of Emperor Norton's fantastic history vlog. Today is June 6, 2020, our 83rd day under a shelter in place order here in San Francisco. Today's episode is a little bit different, as you will see. Normally on Saturday, we do one with the Countess Lola Montez, and it's pretty much her show that day, but uh, we're turning it over to someone very, very special today in the Empire, uh, as you will see in just one moment. You know, Countess, today is a very special day in the Empire. It is? It is indeed. Because the Dowager Empress is turning 100 today. Oh my word, my stars. Now wait a minute. If I'm 202. Yes. And she's 100. Yes. How does that work? That's a good question, isn't it? We'll have to put some thought into that. But in the meantime, we have prepared a special proclamation for this auspicious occasion. At the peremptory request and desire of a large majority of the citizens of the Empire, we, Norton I, by grace of God, Emperor of the United States and Protector of Mexico, come before you, our loyal subjects, on this auspicious occasion with a special proclamation. Whereas Laura Amster was born on June 6, 1920, and whereas since that time she has led a long life raising two intelligent, beautiful, and industrious children, hear, hear. Loran and Joseph. And whereas she managed political campaigns, served her community as a member of the board of directors of the Jewish community of Orange County, community center of Orange County, traveled the world, created paintings, collected art, and pursued various creative endeavors. And whereas during her long life, she has seen the election of 18 U.S. presidents, a world war, the invention of talking pictures, television, and the atomic bomb, as well as seeing men walk on the moon, the rise of the internet, and innumerable historic events. And whereas, she is the Dowager Empress of our magnificent empire. And whereas, we are gathered today here, virtually, to honor her 100th birthday. And whereas, we love her very much. Therefore, be it resolved that we, Norton I, in our authority as Emperor of the United States and Protector of Mexico, do hereby declare and proclaim this the sixth day of June 2020 in the 160th year of our magnificent reign and our 222nd year, 22nd year, pardon me, of existence to henceforth be known as Dowager Empress Laura Amster Centennial Day and call for rejoicing, the giving of lavish presents, the singing of spirited songs, consumption of savory cakes, imbibing of refreshing beverages, and feasting at grand buffets in her honor throughout the empire. Huzzah! And now, we should like to grace you with a special song for your birthday. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, dear Dowager, happy birthday to you, and many more. And I think we're going to take a little trip in the time machine now. What do you say, Countess? Oh, yes. Wait a minute. What happened? The time machine was supposed to be set for the 1870s, and this doesn't look right. I think we're in the 1970s. Oh boy, well, we'll have a special song for that. You might remember this one. They say it's, it's your birthday. birthday. It's, it's my, my birthday, birthday too, too, yeah. They say it's your birthday. We're gonna have a good time. We're glad it's your birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mom. We love you. Wasn't that fun? 
Indeed, it is the Dowager's 100th birthday today. Happy birthday. Well, that wraps it up for this edition. Until we see you again, stay safe, stay inside, stay healthy. You go outside, wear a mask, and be kind to one another. A gracious good day.